In Utah's back, and today we're continuing our look into the history of black travel guides. They existed during the 1930s to the late 1960s. These guides served as a special purpose of helping African Americans safely travel around the United States during the segregation area. Jimmy McGriff joins us with new details. Okay, so I took a road trip a few weeks ago to Logan and surrounding areas to see some of the sites that were listed in some of these travel guides. A couple of student researchers told me that they were surprised and excited to find that black history can be traced in far northern Utah. Historians and researchers would likely agree these travel guides were some of the best kept secrets within the black community for years. It was like kind of this undercover, like covert operation almost, you know, that like black Americans were publishing these books so that they can go and like sleep safely or go and go get dinner safely. Eden Marikin is a student at Utah State University and a researcher for a black history project that's looking into travel guides like this one. It's a really exciting thing, I think, to know that there's this stuff that nobody knows about and you're the one finding it. This project is under the leadership of Utah State University English professor Christine Cooper Rampato. There were earlier travel guides and um, there are quite a few of them. Matakin is trying to get background information on Utah businesses listed in some of these travel guides. I don't think people thought it was a big deal and to me it's the biggest deal. Because those listed locations were deemed safe for black travelers passing through Utah during the segregation era. I think it's more overwhelming the fact that like there's not enough information out there to like find out every single thing about like these locations and the people that stayed there and who ran them. Marta Keen says she's looking into history behind this location in Brigham City, the Bushnell Motor Lodge, located at 117 East and 7th Street. Before returning to Salt Lake City, I made a stop in Ogden to see this listed site located on 24th Street. During my recent road trip through far northern Utah, I met up with Siamar Castro in Logan, who's another student participating in this black history project. She says there was an unusual discovery from one of the travel guides. They had an entry for someone's house as well, okay. which was um, Rutha Johnson in Salt Lake City. And it was kind of unusual to see someone's residence listed instead of just hotels. So she had like a guest house and provided meals for her guests. So that one only appeared in that one guide, the Bronze American Guide. So far, Rampato's Black History Research Team have found newspaper clippings like this one, which helps paint a better picture of Rutha Johnson's life. She was a pretty prominent member in the Salt Lake community, I think. She was a member of this club. It was called the Nimble Thimble Club which you can assume is probably like a sewing club or something like that. She helped to raise money for construction of the Nettie Gregory Center in Salt Lake's west side. Every little bit of information is motivation for Matakin to pursue higher ed in archival studies. This project kind of made me realize that this is like what I want to do. I like absolutely loved every moment of it. I really enjoy it. I'm like obsessed at this point. I'm told the goal is to have all of the information that they have found put together for a Black History Travelers exhibit that will be on display hopefully by early fall. I'll put a link with more details on this story as well as the information on the travel exhibit. You can find all of it on KUTV.com.